one day we want to organize a big event centered around unbiased hiring and all the things that go hand in hand with making sure that everyone gets an equal opportunity. Unbiased hiring, objectifying the hiring process is something that everyone speaks about, but it's it's hard to become very tangible, like practical things you can do. So I hope we can make it practical enough for people to really apply some change tomorrow. It's uh, really nice to see so many HR professionals from many industries gathering on the same topic. It's something that requires a lot of debate still, but it's really good to see that this is happening. It's a lot of different topics, people from different countries as well. So I think it will help to bring diversity into the thinking of the attendees and also just some, some really topical knowledge for them to bring into their own companies. Getting all these uh, hiring managers, recruiters together in an event like this is already a really big step into raising awareness for uh, unbiased hiring, I would say. Talking about biases and, and how to build that inclusive organization is something that we need to talk more and more and more about. You know, uh, repeating ourselves, hearing the same things, it's not at all uh, something bad. It's, it's good because, you know, making changes is hard. I think especially for this audience who are in recruitment, who are working in HR, it's really important for them, I think, to understand what goes on in our brains because I really think it can help speed up or move things forward when it comes to DEI. Especially like the uh, intersection between uh, uh, neuroscience and artificial intelligence. It's really good to think about as well. Um, and also it is a field that we don't know much about. So it is very cool to see what people think about it and how different uh, stakeholders are relating to this uh, topic. So I think the most interesting insight so far has really been uh, about how our brain functions, what we don't know. Because we hear that a lot, what we don't know, what I really liked is that a couple of the speakers really went a couple of levels deeper into what do we already know and how can you change that in your day-to-day -day role as a people manager or a recruiter. We work so much on breaking any sort of biases and any sort of, of predisposed and preconditioned thoughts that we have. And this is basically in line with everything that we do. And it helps a lot that, that we love everyone at eCulture. I think that helps a lot. Being in HR, you know, being in recruitment, you know, like you feel a little pressured sometimes, you know, to be aware of biases, you know, but but then again, all of us have them. It's 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 something, you know, that we actually cannot live without. Um, so that kind of like takes the pressure away a little bit. However, it's also about, you know, making the change, you know, and that, that the change won't happen, of course, overnight. And it, it starts with me, with you, you know, with everyone around me. We're all figuring it out. I think that sometimes it can very quickly become, don't want to say a blame game, but we have to start somewhere and that's a good place to start. Let's go and find the knowledge to try and make things better. I hope that today people get inspired to really do something tangible and practical with DNI because I think it's quite a um, untangible thing for some people and I really hope that today at least I walk away with a couple of practical tips and tricks on how to implement it in their company. I am uh, blown away and I'm not easily to be blown away. We always say good people, no good people and I think there's a lot of great people here and that's why we're just so incredibly happy and humbled to be invited to, uh, to speak here. Eye-opening, a little nerve-wracking as well, you know, because there's some very, very sensitive topics that are being discussed. But I think it's been mostly inspirational, you know, like like you can you can kind of feel the little fire burn within, you know, and that's actually something that I came here for. Yeah.